and we good. Go, go, go. That didn't work. You know what? Foles had a rushing touchdown last week. Let's give it to Foles. Foles. Oh, I didn't put Foles in. That was a fail. Vic, don't be soft. Vic, don't be soft on these young men. Touchdown! Tebow Swag. I planned it like that. What's going on, gamers? Your boy, I Maverick here. And surprise! We're doing another full game Friday this week. Because we have my Eagles in town, so why not do two games with the Eagles? Oh, so there's another 74 team. Shout out to Master Chappy. His team sucks just as bad as mine does, so we're, we're cool. Uh, the main reason I wanted to run with these guys again, um, I want to use the Pearl Harbor, not the Pearl Harbor. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I wanted to use my, uh, uh, the bipolar scheme we were messing with. And look, guys, for Full Game Friday, we're running the Philadelphia playbook. Oh, and so is this young man. That means we're probably going to see a whole bunch of read options. Um, yeah, just a bunch of read options with uh, with Big Cap. So, but yeah, so that's cool, though, for y'all. Y'all can nibble off what I'm doing, and if he's doing something dope, we'll just nibble his stuff, too. And we'll have the bipolar slash... East Oakland, whatever his name is, bonus scheme. So, yeah. It's like a win-win. Even if, well, hopefully we ain't trying to lose, but it's like, a, it's like double the scheme this week. Ride of juice. Let's see how this works. But I was having fun with it, and I just want to see if it, because we, we, we moved the ball pretty well in our last game. And like I said, that was my first game taking it out of practice mode. So I kind of want to see uh, just if we can do the same. What kind of what kind of issues we run into and maybe how we can correct them. And then our opponent quit last full game. So we didn't get like a full game to kind of review it and, and check it out. But uh, and uh, this isn't a bad defense to test it out on either. Boykins, don't even do it to you. I'm not gonna do it to you, man. So remember, we're coming into the uh, the bunch quad, putting the halfback wing package. And we're good to go. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Oh crap, what are you talking about? Let's go. Let's go. He kind of threw me off when he brought his safety up because y'all know I was looking for that out route to the left. And I saw that safety, I was like, whoa, whoa there. Maybe he's trying to snatch that. Which, well, really, I should have went up top. That's what I should have done. I mean, I got Macklin there. Who's not too shy in the speed category. Everybody is split out wide. From the gun. Got him. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, y'all. We might be nice with this offense. It's a little too early. We don't have enough reps to vert, you know, versus enough quality competition. But uh, for full game Friday, I think you guys are gonna be able to take this and do some stuff with it. And I know, I know, I'm a little bit behind on uh, getting the schemes up for the team schemes on the site. Y'all give me, y'all, y'all give me. Uh, hold on. I don't like Gin. Gin be doing some things to me. Oh, he didn't even get it that time. But uh, yeah, I'm a little behind. Y'all give your boy the New Year's, man. I'm catching up now. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, I'm doing my Pearl Harbor update, which this should go up on Saturday. Hopefully by Saturday you're seeing this is up. If it's not, um, try and understand. 
because for the update we're talking nine formations nine new formations um, a section on red zone offense there we go uh, a section on red zone offense a section on beating fag D like honestly I don't think I've ever seen an ebook that covered as much as we're trying to cover right now with this Pearl Harbor update so trying to think of what he wants to do here I don't want to be too aggressive with my users because if, if, if he gets a play I just don't want it to be a touchdown because we're still figuring his scheme out we got nothing but slants last last play so I, I'm gonna come down here and use her user right here there we go um be a little careful maybe give up a short pass or a short run and if they roll it short, make sure you come up and make the tackle. The quarterback's hovering out instructions. Switch it. Oh, crap. Send wide. Dang it. Oh, I'll take that. Cromarty. That's what y'all doing, San Fran, huh? <laughs> That's what y'all doing, San Fran, huh? Such a bomb, man. They did these ratings too good for Philly, man. Like, we really playing like a 74 overall team. You got some teams in this game to be balling way higher than their overall. But Philly's is dead on. Like, we we look like poop out there, dude. Can't believe we just got teabagged like that. But, yeah. This pause kind of lets me explain the Pearl Harbor update. Yeah, yo, we got nine formations. Um, a, a section on just red zone offense. A section on beating fag D. Um, a new section section on just concepts. And then, like, with, with now with the update, so we had, I don't know how many formations, probably seven or eight already, I think. Six. I don't know. We already had a decent amount of formations. So now we're talking those formations plus the new ones. And then you can almost turn it into a run scheme, which we wasn't it wasn't really a run type scheme before. But now we can kind of run a little bit more. So I have audibles for if you want to run it, if you want to be pass heavy, if you want to be balanced. Like it's I basically when I told you guys I'd have it as soon as I said I'd have it, I didn't know how much I was gonna put into it. So we're trying to catch up now. And I wanna mix it up here. Throw some zone at this man. Throw this cover four at him. Kind of hoping he don't run it. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Come on, Nate. For some space to the left. He's brought to a halt. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator coming with the counter run. And the defense being too aggressive. They're over pursuing. See how he reacts so to this heat. Counter, go the opposite direction, and it works well. I'm watching the streaks, man. I'm watching these inside streaks. And if it's a run, I'm trying to block Shea with Cole. Okay, I'll give you that. Good call. Uh, let's go to the 4-3, but let's come out in a, uh, a cover three. As soon as they'll let me audible. It's a run. I'm shooting over Allen. Uh, I'm pretty sure he likes these slants. But now I got protection to the flats. Give me that. Kill him. Uh, that's my fault. Should have threw a spy up. Should have known who we had at quarterback. I should have known. So 4-3 over plus. Um, in this part of the field, we don't need three guys deep we don't so I'm gonna go with the cover two um, in case he wants to be about that life a little purple up read option let's go played that perfect love it I like to pass commit versus the versus the read option I feel like it keep it uh, you don't have that DN 
coach will call it. Your DN doesn't chase the running back. I think I came out in 4-3 stack on accident. Yeah, I sure did. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. I'm going to come out 4-3 over plus, but... Give me that. Thank you. Come on, dog! That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Nay, nay, you old, so many bombs on this team, but I love y'all, y'all just frustrate me, yo, I'm telling you, Philly's my favorite team, but I probably talk about them more than any other team, at least this year, that's a Philly fan for you, though, just because we call our team bombs, just because we say mean things, don't mean we don't love them, don't mean I don't tune in every Sunday, or Thursday, even though we suck, I love my squad. And I love them enough. We got that kind of relationship where I can tell them that you know what you suck. I don't even remember how we scored last drive. I don't even think we got to run our iPhone stuff. Which don't be surprised if we're just a little bit more uh bunch quadish versus the versus M Niners. Just because I know we a little bit soft. And they not as soft. Oh, yeah, we hit him with a streak. That's what we did. I don't like this call. I don't. Um, so we're going to flip it. I don't know. I can look at things better with, with the bunch being on the right. Bunch on the left kind of messes me up. Reading what he's talking about. Got him, coach. Oh, Mackie, Mac, Mac. Mackity, Mac, Mac. He's playing some aggressive D, so I think we're going to have to streak him up. I think we're going to have to streak this young man up. He's so aggressive, man. Okay, I know he's not. That was stupid. Oh! Oh, we got bailed out. Look at the Niners giving bailouts, though. Um, I had to run, y'all. I sometimes I just like to throw the razzle in it. Just because it looks so good on the intro for the video. So I tried to throw on the run. And actually, I probably could have caught that if I didn't overuse it like I did. Sometimes you kind of go into defense mode and just try and stop the interception from happening. But I think these streaks are getting them, yo. Got him, coach. Let's go. Where's my control? I got a controller just to throw. That was an excellent job by the offensive coordinator. He called the right play. Good route by the wide receiver. Wide open down the field. Just a terrible throw. Bro, by the such an easy throw, though. Like in my head, I always try to look at what I what I did wrong. Like, all right, cool, man. Maybe next it should have bullet. I should have thrown a bullet pass. But it's like, yo, because you, you overthrow those a lot less. And then, but it's like, is that that's not even that much to ask? Like for him to make that throw right there? The formation here, shotgun. Cause then we got stuff like that, man. You obviously you get more separation with the lob, but I can't even count on Vic to do. Oh my god. Well, you know what it was? It was a bad That's what made me do a part two with these guys. If I'm doing part twos, I need to be with like the Steelers. Is he still gonna give me that streak though? That's what I want to know. Bad throw. And then you throw a dip and die. Vic, help me understand. We taking this to we taking this to the second quarter. Uh -uh. I've, I've had enough of Vic for the first quarter. Give us some time. To, for, let him calm down. Think about how bad he sucks right now. Part two with Philly, man. I don't know how good of an idea that was. That was frustrating. I almost ran with the Giants. Shout out to Allah. From the inner circle, he wanted me to run with the Giants. I was about to. 
But then I thought about it, you know. I already played with, you know, divisional opponent with the with the with the Cowboys. I don't want to bounce back with a, another team in our division that I can't stand. You know, I don't, I don't like those teams. They're good Madden teams. I just don't like them in real life. So I was like, cool, let's let's, let's get Philly, and then we'll mess with the rest of our division. But uh, yeah, shout out to Allah, shout out to Corey, shout out to Jesse, all the folks from the Inner Circle. They asked for a shout out. If you're in the Inner Circle, I didn't just shout you out because you ain't asked. Nobody but the quarterback in the backfield here. First and ten. Oh my god, he's really You know what I'm doing, y'all? I'm doing what I always tell y'all not to do. I'm stopping myself. He's leaving that streak open on the left. I don't know why he's doing that. He should not he's, he keep he keeps doing it, yo. Like watch, it's probably about to be open. Oh, cover two. Vic, I see you though. Vic, I see you though. See now you doing some things. Don't celebrate though. Don't you ain't that good. You ain't that you can't be celebrating right now. You didn't overthrow two touchdowns. You're not that good. Alex Henry ready for the kickoff. Alright. Can we get some lock up on D though? That's all I'm trying to say. Good special teams. Let's get a butt whooping, man. Like at halftime, I want this game to already be over with. Let's get one of them on Full Game Friday again. Just for Mavs nerves. Cover three. I like cover three. Nope. You ain't gonna have me off balance. So you can run down my throat. I like to always use with a weak side linebacker. So that in case they go so that just in case they go strong side with the run, which is likely, the weak side linebacker be kind of moving slow sometimes to get to the strong side on those runs, so I can take him all the way over there and get there uh, quicker. Or the safety. Safety's not bad either. But then I like being at the linebacker uh, just in case they pass. Because I'm, as a safety, I have tendencies to come all the way up and leave my zone just if I see something because I can get too aggressive with my users and that's not always good either so I'm just gonna throw this hybrid at this young man Second and 14 after the second. see just like I did right there and and I, I, I was his stick so I was horrible I missed the tackle but y'all saw how quick I got over there at the weak side that's what I'm talking about and usually you want to click off right there throw a spy up I know you like to run. Throw this spy up. Now I'm going strong side because I think he's going to pass. I'm going to watch Davis on like a play action corner route or something. Dropping back three. The Got that spy on you, young man. Looks for a second oh, good play, dude. The you can have that. I'll give you that. That was a good play. Sometimes they call it the check down receiver or the safety foul. And that's what it is. Nobody open down the field. Throw it to the guy that's Weak side safety. Click off. That's a click off tackle right there. I got close and then I just hit circle or B on Xbox to just click off. Let the computer do it. Because those open field tackles aren't that aren't always that easy. Weak side. One thing to be wary of is sometimes you might click off a little bit too far. And so right there I clicked off too far. And by clicking off, I clicked on to the closest defender. And I wasn't ready to tackle, if that made sense. Um, oh, I want to run commit so bad. I just don't. Spy, I'm going to contain my corner. All in for this. I got to play this middle zone if it's a pass, which I think it is. <laughs> Did we set up an A gap, though? Did I just set up an A-gapper? I didn't see. It might have been. If I did, it was on accident. I'm not going to take credit. The beautiful thing, too, the read option is pretty nice. And we have it in the, We actually have the read option in our audibles. 
We just haven't had to use it yet. Dude, I don't want to streak this guy up that easy. Why aren't you playing good defense? Like, this streak should be money. What is he doing on defense? I just have to know. A lot of people don't know how to guard five wide either. A lot of people have different theories on it. Personally, I like zone. I like zone more than man, period, this year. I'm definitely more of a more of a zone guy. Um, right, between you talk to one Madden guru, it might be zone. You talk to another YouTube comment, Madden guru. Selick, I see you, though. And then they'll be like, nah, it's man, forget zone. Okay, he's going four wideouts now. I think I'm going to go to my 3 3 5. Watch the option. Read option. Screen. Matter of fact, let me try some stuff I was working on with 4 3. Setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. Dude, that was bad. I didn't even look at what our coverage was like. I was too busy trying to set up this eight gapper. Good tackle. Good tackle. That's always scary when you got that one on one over there. And guys, if you're running curls, um, and you get that one on one and you catch it, spin. Spin as soon as you catch it. Give me that. Oh, man. Try to hit him with the cover two sink just in case he wants to do that. And we're going to go back to it. I got that. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I messed up. Bad, bad series on defense. We kind of just let him back into this game, which isn't bad, though, because we get more gameplay. Don't want this young man quitting on me. And I kind of want to mess with this... this this, this bipolar scheme is looking really, really promising. I just got to get better with my reads for the five wide because obviously they have to be quick. Uh, your protection is going to be limited no matter what you do. With not having a halfback to get back there, you know, depending, depending on what kind of blitz they send. Uh, there's some basic blitzes they can send where you slide left, slide right, you know, aggressive pinch. Uh, you'll have some some time, but if they're really sending some heaters. Oh, I want to motion. If they're, if they're really sending some heaters, your read's got to be quick. Come on, man. They make the play. All right, let's let's see if we can catch him with the uh, auto balloon down. We're gonna start speeding this speeding this up. I think he might be worried about um. I think he might be worried about the out routes. That's what he's doing. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's putting yellows up. Which will lock up the out route when you have him that close to the line of scrimmage. But he keeps giving up the streak, and I don't get that. So seeing that we need a play right here, we're going to go to the streak. Five wides for the offense. These DBs will not back off. Oh, make a play. Make a play. That shouldn't have happened. I'm sorry. I'll take it, though. I'll take it. I kind of feel bad, but there's some joy in my heart because I was on. I was the beneficiary there. All right, let's go into doubles. See how this young man feels about the read option. 
Got fumble, young man, fumble in there. Dang, forgot about that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Spin on him. For those who don't know how to do the read option, all you're doing is... Let me hop into it. Bryce will let you get a couple more carries before we take you out. Now, all I do is I'm reading the defensive end on the left. Because uh, if I don't do anything, I mean, if I hit X, I'm going to give the ball to Bryce Brown, and he's going to run. So I'm watching, you know, that defensive end on the left. If he stays back like he's going to stop the run, then I don't do anything, and I run to the right with Vic. If I see him crash down like he's trying to stop the run, or no, like he's trying to chase me to the right as the quarterback, then I give it to Bryce. So I'm trying to read it. Boom, looked like he was going to come in. I gave it to Bryce. Wiggle sticks. Put that head down, Nick. So, yeah. What I'm about to do isn't smart. I'm about to run it in with my man Vic. Vic for the win. Let some of this clock drip up. I'm going to need one of them timeouts from you, but I'm going to need one of them timeouts from you. Get a vaunt. Get a vaunt. Let this get down to like 10. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. And we good. Go, go, go. That didn't work. You know what? Foles had a rushing touchdown last week. Let's give it to Foles. Trey opened. I think there's a power in here. I think there's a QB power. Call timeout. That's gonna be a timeout. Charge to the offense. We got a we got a QB power somewhere in here. He's not in the tray open. Oh, it's in wide trips. There we go. QB power. Foles. Oh, I didn't put Foles in. That was a fail. Vic, don't be soft. Vic, don't be soft on these young men. Touchdown! Tebow Swag. I planned it like that. See, y'all not. I'm a mastermind. That's what it is. I'm on that Bill Belichick swag. I'm like, all right, we're going to hit him with a Thumbarooski. So we, we, we fake it. Dude, it. It was so deep. I don't even know if y'all understand this, but I'll try. I'll try to break it down for y'all. The actual scheme started when I said let sub bowls in because I knew that San Fran had a lip reader on the other side of the field, and he was like, okay, they're putting bowls in. They must be trying to hit us with a power because Vic ain't powerful, right? So I was like, all right, I'm scheming them. So they think Foles is going in, so they know the, the power is coming, right? So they put their hit, their, their big hit maker, their hit makers, their big power hitters in, so they can try and jar that ball loose from the quarterback because it's, it's going to be a power. But I leave Vic in there because I know he's going to fumble. Foles isn't going to fumble on me. And then I have my player strategically placed to pick up the fumble. That's the fumble ruski. But like I said, that was some deep stuff right there. I probably didn't even grasp that. And see, look, now he's trying to swagger jack. Now he's trying to swagger jack. The fumble ruski will be in the ebook. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll have that on the website. We're back here now in this one, where the Eagles are leading by 18. The 49ers. Oh, that. No, nah, I'm not gonna lie. I have my butthole pucker. That would have been a silly, silly, silly decision. Especially when we pretty much got this game locked. It's it's our game to lose right here. Oh, I know what you're gonna try and do. First down all the way. Set up screen. I sniffed it out too. I just know what I haven't got this year that I had a quite a few last year is the picks on the screens, and I just take them to the to the house. I haven't had enough of those this year. Second down coming up. From the gun. Give me that. Uh, Allen, don't snatch it. I mean, don't swat it. Snatch it, bruh. Come on, son. Now, 
looking at third down. Good play. Good out route. I'll give that. We're about to get our sack, though. Or this pick. Sack or pick. Which one you want? Sack or pick. Which one you want? Pick. We're going to bring the coverage up. We ain't worried about that. We're bringing that coverage up on this young man. Screen. Good read. He's trying to get us with that screen now. We're going to try and bait him. Oh, awesome while making plays, though. If we stop him here, we might get a quit. If we stop him here, we might get a quit. So then the question is, what do we run? 4-3's been good to us, man. Throw some purples up, throw a spy up, because we know he's going to want to run it. Cole's a pretty athletic spy. He's going to try and hit this out route to the left, maybe, and I'm going to snatch it. Oh, read option. Good play. One thing I don't like that they have in this game, too, like, Asuma was just back there. You'll probably have to rewind it to see it. But he was on that side of the field just watching. Like, bro, what are you watching for? Give me that. Thank you. Oh, D'Amico! Here's the thing with D'Amico Ryans. He's super slow, but he's almost, I mean, not on the same level by any means, but he's almost like a Ray Lewis because... Give me that. Thank you. Like, he's not super athletic. But I see more. But I see. But I see. But I see. I try to get too cute there. Try to get too cute. But, but, but D'Amico's good at, like, getting in the right spot, making plays. But he don't have the athleticism. Sometimes he's in the spot, but he don't have the athleticism to make the play. And sometimes it's kind of like 50-50. You don't have to user him all the time. You have a, a faster guy there with lower awareness, just less playmaking. He's not even in the spot, so... That's what we do there. That's how we bounce back. That's how we bounce back. Get Philly. Get two wins to replace the loss we had last year. Or last game. And we, we good. I think we're sitting at 19 and 1. Uh, not bad for the full game Friday series, y'all. So I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Be patient with me. All the updates to the site are coming. Give me till New Year's. I'm going to try and catch up on all the team schemes. Uh, which are the free schemes that we're doing. Uh, not bad. Not bad, y'all. But yeah, I appreciate y'all uh, rocking with me. Appreciate all the support. It means a lot. Uh, happy holidays. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy I don't celebrate that stuff if that's what you do. I appreciate y'all. I'm out. Till next time. God first. God bless.